Leukemia is a broad term for cancer of body's blood-forming tissues, including bone marrow and lymphatic system. The type of leukemia depends on the type of blood cell that becomes cancer and whether it grows quickly or slowly. Leukemia occurs most often in adults older than 55, but it is also the most common cancer in children younger than 15. In this video, we will learn more about leukemia, its symptoms, causes, classification, types, risk factors, and treatments. Leukemia symptoms vary depending on the type of leukemia. Common leukemia signs and symptoms include fever or chills, persistent fatigue or weakness, frequent and severe infections, losing weight without trying, swollen lymph nodes, and large liver or spleen, easy bleeding or bruising, recurrent nosebleeds, tiny red spots in your skin, excessive sweating, especially at night, bone pain or tenderness. Scientists don't understand the exact cause of leukemia. In general, leukemia is thought to occur when some blood cells acquire changes in their genetic material or DNA. A cell's DNA contains the instructions that tell a cell what to do. Normally, the DNA tells the cell to grow at a set rate and to die at a set time. In leukemia, the mutations tell the blood cells to continue growing and dividing. When this happens, blood cell production becomes out of control. Over time, these abnormal cells can crowd out healthy blood cells in the bone marrow, leading to fewer healthy white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets, causing the signs and symptoms of leukemia. Leukemia can be classified on the basis of speed of progression and the type of cells involved. On the basis of speed of progression, leukemia can be further classified as acute leukemia and chronic leukemia. In acute leukemia, the abnormal blood cells are immature blood cells. They can carry out their normal functions and they multiply rapidly, so the disease worsens quickly. Acute leukemia requires aggressive, timely treatment. Chronic leukemia involves more mature blood cells. These blood cells replicate or accumulate more slowly and can function normally for a period of time. Some forms of chronic leukemia initially produce no early symptoms and can go unnoticed or undiagnosed for years. On the basis of white blood cell affected, leukemia can be classified as lymphocytic leukemia and myelogenous leukemia. Lymphocytic leukemia affects the lymphocytes, which form lymphatic tissue. Lymphatic tissue makes up your immune system. Myelogenous leukemia affects the myeloid cells. Myeloid cells give rise to red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelet-producing cells. The four main types of leukemia are Acute lymphocytic leukemia Acute myelogenous leukemia Chronic lymphocytic leukemia Chronic myelogenous leukemia Acute myelogenous leukemia occurs in both children and adults. Acute lymphocytic leukemia is most common leukemia in children, it can also affect adults. Chronic myelogenous leukemia mostly affects adults. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia occurs mostly in people over 55 years of age. Other types include hairy cell leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, and myeloproliferative disorders. Factors that may increase your risk of developing some types of leukemia include previous cancer treatment, genetic disorders, exposure to certain chemicals, such as benzene, smoking, family history of leukemia. To diagnose leukemia, your doctor may perform physical exam, blood test, or bone marrow test. In physical exam, your doctor will look for physical symptoms of leukemia, such as pale skin from anemia, swelling of your lymph node, and enlarged liver. By looking at sample of blood, doctor can determine if you have abnormal levels of red or white blood cells, which may suggest leukemia. A blood test can may also show the presence of leukemia cell. Sometimes leukemia cell stays in bone marrow and don't circulate in blood. Your doctor may recommend a procedure to remove a sample of bone marrow from your hip bone. The bone marrow is removed using a long, thin needle. The sample is sent to a laboratory to look for leukemia cells. 
Specialized tests of your leukemia cells may reveal certain characteristics that are used to determine your treatment options. Treatment of leukemia depends on many factors such as age, overall health, type of leukemia, and progression of leukemia to other parts of the body. However, the common treatment used to fight leukemia includes Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is the major form of treatment for leukemia. This drug treatment uses chemicals to kill leukemia cells. Depending on the type of leukemia you have, you may receive a single drug or a combination of drugs. These drugs may come in a pill form, or they may be injected directly into a vein. Targeted therapy Targeted drug treatments focus on specific abnormalities present within cancer cells. By blocking these abnormalities, targeted drug treatments can cause cancer cells to die. Your leukemia cells will be tested to see if targeted therapy may be helpful for you. Radiation therapy Radiation therapy uses X-rays or other high-energy beams to damage leukemia cells and stop their growth. During radiation therapy, you lie on a table while a large machine moves around you, directing the radiation to precise points on your body. You may receive radiation in one specific area of your body where there is a collection of leukemia cells, or you may receive radiation over your whole body. Radiation therapy may be used to prepare for a bone marrow transplant. Bone marrow transplant. A bone marrow transplant, also called a stem cell transplant, helps reestablish healthy stem cells by replacing unhealthy bone marrow with leukemia free stem cells that will regenerate healthy bone marrow. Prior to a bone marrow transplant, you receive very high doses of chemotherapy or radiation therapy to destroy your leukemia producing bone marrow. Then you receive an infusion of blood forming stem cells that help rebuild your bone marrow. You may receive stem cells from a donor or you may be able to use your own stem cells. Immunotherapy Immunotherapy uses your immune system to fight cancer. Your body's disease-fighting immune system may not attack your cancer because the cancer cells produce proteins that help them hide from the immune system cells. Immunotherapy works by interfering with that process. Engineered immune cells A specialized treatment called chimeric antigen receptor. CFR T-cell therapy takes your body's germ-fighting T-cells, engineers them to fight cancer, and infuses them back into your body. CFR T-cell therapy might be an option for certain types of leukemia. We hope you have liked this video. Please support us by subscribing to our channel.